Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make three different types of freeze frame transitions in Adobe That's Premiere Pro. Let's just get straight to it. So we're going to align our cursor with the first frame of the second clip here. And we're going to duplicate it. And a shortcut to do that is just to hold Option, click and drag the clip up on the top there. And then on this top clip here, we're going to right click it and navigate to this button called Add Frame Hold. Once you click that, you're going to see it's going to freeze the entire duration of the clip with whatever frame that cursor is on. What you want to do is make sure your cursor is at the start of your clip when you do that. So it transitions very, very smooth to the next clip over. Now that we have this clip frozen, I'm going to make it around 20 frames. So I'm going to hold the shift key and go one, two, three, four to the right. Just cut and make that 20 frames. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our effect controls up here and then go to opacity and this pen tool here. And that's, this is basically the pen tool inside Photoshop, but um, a much quicker way in Premiere Pro. And then what we're going to do is just going to start outlining your subjects or objects cut out. You want to take your time with this as the more time you spend cutting out and making it precise, the better the transition is going to look. And as you can see, once you finish that, it's going to make a cutout of that frame hold right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this clip to the first clip here. And then we're going to start keyframing it to morph into the scene. If you go to effect controls at the top here and you go to a position, make sure to keyframe where it is right now and drag it to the end because that's where you want the frame hold to end up. And just navigate it to wherever you want the frame hold to start outside of the shot. So for instance, I want it coming from the bottom. I'm just going to drag the frame hold down to the bottom of the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all keyframes here by holding command and just clicking them all right click and then temporal interpolation and ease in that's kind of like the easy ease keyframes in after effects um just the premiere version and that's just going to make it go in a lot smoother and as you can see when i play it back you got a simple but effective freeze frame uh kind of warp through i reckon that looks sick but if you want to elevate it even more you can add various other effects to it like i'm going to show you how to do right now if you kind of want it to start small and then morph in you can go to your scale keyframe scale and then drag it to the end like just before Go to the start and then drop it to like five, make it super, super small. Hold the keyframe, right click, ease in. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna start off small and then make it um, kind of grow into the last frame, just like that. I reckon those little things make it a whole, a whole lot better. To elevate the emphasis of the frame morph at the end, I'm going to right click here, new item, adjustment layer and just make a 10 frame adjustment layer at the end of the clip and then i'm going to navigate over to my presets and then go to my flash pack and this pack has 25 unique flashes uh, ready to use on your edits in one click i kind of want a quick but simple flash so i'm really going to navigate to basic flash and i can see that's 10 frames there so I'm just gonna drag and drop that on top of my clip. And just like that, you got a sick basic flash to emphasize that transition a whole lot more. I love the flash, but I feel like it'll look a lot cooler behind the freeze frame cutout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag that over the top of that adjustment layer there. And then when I play it back, it's only gonna be behind the freeze frame, as you can see. So that's got a big emphasis on it when it hits. And there you go, that's our first freeze frame effect. Uh, something simple, but something super, super effective for your edits. The next effect we're gonna do is kind of what I like to call like a puzzle piece uh, freeze frame transition. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna morph in um, different sections of the second clip into the first clip to kind of form a transition to the second clip in a cool different type of way. Let's go straight to it. For this clip, I'm gonna use the clip with um, a lot of people involved. So I see this one's got three girls right here. So I'm gonna use them for the kind of like puzzle piece transition for the next clip. So it's the exact same principle as before. Navigate to the first frame of the next clip, duplicate it, right click and add frame hold. The clip is now frozen and now it's 20 frames. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to duplicate this two more times on two. Now we have each different clip for um, the three cutouts we are going to do. Now I'm gonna spend some time going through each different clip and cutting out um, each person one by one. Now I've cut out each individual person. Now we can see that we have a girl number one on the top, 
girl number two on the middle and girl number three on the bottom now we're going to move these three to the end here and we are going to move each individual clip to different positions um, throughout the whole duration of the first clip here kind of want to position it so the start of the next clip coming up is kind of in the middle of the first clip right there so I think that looks pretty good. And now, same as before, you want to keyframe um, the cutout coming in to the first shot. Since there's multiple here, I think it'll look pretty cool if um, they each come in different directions. So I'm gonna make the first person come in from the left, the second person coming from the bottom, and then the third person coming from the right. Now, as you can see, I have them each coming in one at a time, just like that. Once you've keyframed each cutout, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to extend each clip to the end of the duration of the first clip so they're not disappearing once they come in. And now when you've done all that, you should have a pretty sick, and then when you've done that, you should have a pretty sick puzzle piece type freeze frame transition. As you can see going through, I can see that each cutout leaves a little bit of room around the edges of the frame. So I'm gonna go to the end of the keyframes and just make the scale like 101 to kind of fit in the gaps there, maybe 101.5. And that's just filling in the gaps to make it look less awkward when they come in. Now, just like before, I think it needs a little bit more source to it. So I'm just gonna make an adjustment layout, a few of them actually of 10 frames. And I'm gonna add just some subtle flashes. Actually, since I want them subtle, I think I'm gonna make the adjustment layout like six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, just some really quick subtle flashes to enhance the art effect. And again, I'm gonna go through my flash pack and choose a quick flash and something that kind of sounds cool. So I think this inverted flash here sounds pretty cool, eight frames. So I'm gonna chuck that on uh, the adjustment layer. That looks sick. I'm just gonna put one on each adjustment layer. Um, and just align it with the time that they finish morphing through the first cut. And bang, just like that, we have a sick puzzle piece type freeze frame effect to add to your edits. Now for our third and final effect, I kind of want to do the opposite of like we did on the first two. And instead of going in to the next shot, I think I want to make it go out of the second. Do the exact same principle before, duplicate the clip and cut it out. And then I'll go back and show you how to make it pop out. This time, align your cursor with the last frame of the second clip instead of the first one though. Sometimes they might do this when you click Click add frame hold and only frame hold the last keyframe so just delete the start of the clip and then just extend it out just like that all right so i've got the cutout of the last frame of the first clip here and i've actually made this 25 frames instead of 20 this time so i'm going to drag that over to the second clip and the reason i made it 25 frames is because before it falls i'm going to make it go up a little bit at around five frames and then drop down make kind of like a jump effect and make it a bit more realistic so we're going to start keyframing uh the position of that right now keyframe the position where it starts at and this time leave it at the start since it's the opposite of what we did before and then go five frames forward keyframe it a little bit higher i can see that the edge is kind of cutting out so I'd say make the scale 101.5 like we did before. Drag it to make it fall out the screen, just like that, and then drag that keyframe to the end. Grab all the keyframes, right click, ease in like we always do. And we're also going to right click and ease out as well. And what that's gonna do is it's going to ease in to that first keyframe there at the jump, which is what we want, and then ease out as it falls which is also what we want. And then playing that back, we have a cool kind of freeze frame cutout effect like that. Also like before, it looks good, but we've got to enhance it a bit more too. So we're gonna do the scale, uh, make it like five. Right click and ease that out actually, since it's falling. Drag it to the end, let's have a look at that. And that looks sick in my opinion. That looks really, really, really good. I think it can be enhanced even more. So what I'm gonna do is go to our effects and add a Lumetri color. And I think it'll look cool if it turns black and white when it cuts out. So it's kind of like it's taking a flash. So go to your saturation, make that zero for it to be black and white. And so when we play the clip, it turns black and white and kind of fades away. Of course, since it looks like a photo effect, we're gonna add a flash. 
I'm just going through them, seeing which ones look the best and which ones don't. That's a pretty big one, so I don't think it suits that one. I can do a camera flash. That was not bad. And just like that, we have a sick freeze frame fallout uh, for your edits. I'd say the puzzle one is my favorite though. I'm not gonna lie. That's definitely a close second. And there you go, guys. Three sick, crazy freeze frame transitions for your edits in Adobe Premiere Pro. And that's without using Photoshop as well. If you guys are interested in my flash pack or any other editing packs, I'm having a 50% off sale right now. Go check that out. It's only for a limited time, so be quick. And if you want more tutorials like these, subscribe and follow for more. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a bunch of these every single week. So stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.